A pleural effusion is an excess amount of fluid that accumulates in the pleural cavity, which is the space that surrounds the lung. The first type is a transitative pleural effusion, which can occur in things like heart failure and cirrhosis. The second is exudative pleural effusions, which you typically see with bacterial pneumonias, malignancies, viral infections, and pulmonary embolisms. Because of the fluid accumulation in the lungs, people typically present with shortness of breath and cough. Sometimes the cough is even productive of blood-tinged sputum. Other common complaints include chest pain or chest heaviness. The initial diagnosis of a pleural effusion is often made on clinical exam and on chest x-ray, as seen here. However, the chest x-ray or even advanced imaging, such as CT scans, often don't give us a clue into what type of pleural effusion our patient has. The only definitive way to determine which type of pleural effusion it is, is to obtain a sample via thoracentesis and to test the pleural effusion against certain criteria. These are called the LIGHTS criteria. If any of these criteria are met, the fluid is likely to be an exudate. The LIGHTS criteria are as follows. Pleural fluid protein to serum protein greater than 0.5. Pleural fluid LDH to serum LDH greater than 0.6. And pleural fluid LDH more than two-thirds the upper normal limit. If none of these criteria are met, the effusion is likely transitative.